Assalamualaikum and good morning My name is Wahazan Ghazali I'm from RK X6 and from Group 7 About the introduction and objective How to propose a new solution That have better performance from existing converter uh, Firstly, a uh, bug boost converter is a type of switches mode power supply That combine the principle of the bug converter And the boost converter in a single circle This is because it provides a regulated DC output voltage from either an AC or a DC input. So from this slide, uh, a single but boost converter can either step up or step down input voltage. And SSV converter is composed of a single switch, a single switch diode, and inductor, and has a highly simple structure. So we need to know the SSBB converter have several disadvantages at the polarity of the output voltage of SSBB converter opposite that of the input voltage. So it's not suitable to apply in power application. Then a TSBB converter can be operated in bulk boost and bulk boost mode by controlling the active switches Q1 and Q2. Then the TSB converter has the same polarity of the output voltage as the input voltage lower voltage stretch of the component, a simple structure and easy miniaturization. So for this condition, the TSBB converter has been widely applied in power application. Uh, for the objective, uh, a proposed TSBB converter has lower power losses and higher efficiency than a conventional TSBB converter. Then, the new TSBB topology has a single inductor, two switches and two diodes. Lastly, voltage stretch can be lower than that of the SSBB converter or the number of conducting component can be reduced compared to a conventional TSBB converter in each mode. So, from this new circuit, it shows the proposed TSBB converter has fewer conduction and switching component than the conventional TSBB converter which reduce the power losses. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, my name is Akil Kman Bidabur Rashid from RK86. I will explain the operation of conventional and proper circuit of the TSBB. From the TSBB conventional, this circuit operates when it changes the operational mode which can be controlled by gate signal of switch M1 and M2. Next, for TSBB purpose, it operates more better version of TSBB conventional which refer to voltage conversion ratio of the purpose converter in continuous current mode. Conventional and proper circuit are also using the same three mode which is bulk boost and bulk boost mode which we can see from the switching table operation. In the table TSBB conventional to operate in bulk, bulk mode M1 is controlled and M2 is always in or off state. Next, when M1 is always on and M2 is controlled, the TSBB converter operates in boost mode. If M1 and M2 are switched on and off simultaneously, the TSBB converter behaves like an everything but boost. Next, for the table TSBB purpose, if D2 is zero, the converter operates in bulk mode. For the next mode, M2 is always off and M1 is controlled to regulate the output voltage. If D1 is one, the converter operates in boost mode. M1 is always uh, on and M2 is controlled to regulate the output voltage. If M1 is always off and M2 is switched, the converter operates in bulk mode. Bus, bus boost mode. This is the difference between two circuit, which show the different the flow of the process in the TSB circuit with the conventional and purpose. This is all for me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Muhammad Noani from RKTC. Now I would like to tell about new circuit design of TSBB firstly is we have the TSBB circuit diagram on the left slide then for the right slide we have for A we have bulk mode B is boost mode and C is bulk boost mode the red line is represent for the current path for sub interval 1, the current path passes through M1 and D2. For sub interval 2, the current path passes through D1. Sub interval 1 and 2 is present for the 
bulk mode. Then for sub interval 3, the current path passes through M2. Sub interval 4, the current path passes through M1 and D2. Both sub interval 3 and 4 is represent for boost mode. Next, sub interval 5, the current path passes through M1. And lastly, is sub interval C, the current path passes through D1. Sub interval 5 and 6 is represent for bulk boost mode. Thank you. and very good morning I am Muhammad Yusri Benzaluddin as for my part I will be presenting about the difference between TSBB and SSBB the advantages of TSBB it can operate in three modes while SSBB can only operate in bulk boost mode it has lower voltage stress of the component simplified structure using miniaturization positive and non-inverting output voltage uh, rather than SSBB is an inverting or negative bulk boost converter which is not appropriate for application that require a positive output voltage. Disadvantages It has additional power component consisting of switch and a diode which resulting in higher conduction losses, higher switching losses. When switches are turned off, the conducting component of inductance and D1 or D2 are conducting in each sub-period. TSBB is costly compared to SBB to do extra MOSFET and extra diode. Component voltage stress SSBB in bulk boost mode M1 and D1 is the total summation of voltage stress of input and output The conventional TSBB in bulk boost uh, M1 and D1 is the applied voltage stress of input Whilst M2 and D2 is the applied voltage stress of output For the proposed TSBB in bulk boost uh, M1 and D, M2 and D1 is the total summation of voltage stress input and output whilst M1 and D1 produce complete voltage stress as M2 in, is in off state it makes the voltage stress come from the capacitance So is why the new circuit design of two switch bulk boost converter is the solution to have better performance than single switch bulk boost converter and conventional two switch bulk boost converter. The first point is the component in the new circuit design of TSBB has been reduced. The circuit only contains single inductor, two switches and two diodes compared to the conventional TSBB converter. Next is the voltage stresses can also be lower than a SSBB converter and the number of conducting components can be reduced compared to a conventional TSBB converter in each mode. As a result, the new circuit design of TSBB converter has a lower power losses and higher efficiency than a conventional TSBB converter. The third point is the new TSBB converter has a fewer conductors and semiconductors than the conventional, uh, than the conventional converters. As you can see, this is the new circuit design of the new TSBB converter. So, in conclusion, the new circuit design of TSBB converter has a single inductor, two switches, and two diodes. It can operate in bulk mode, boost mode, and bulk boost mode like a conventional TSBB converter. The purpose TSBB converter features fewer conduction or switching component than a conventional TSBB converter. Therefore, the purpose TSBB converter can be expected to have a higher efficiency than the conventional TSBB converter. Finally, the converter nowadays is very important to us to develop a more powerful and efficient portable device. The, co the conversion efficiency of DC to DC converter is the key factor in maintaining long device life and reduce the energy consumption of the device. Thank you. <music>